Okay, over here, I have my old style PWM with the two relays. And uh, on this one here, we just have uh, one relay. This is a PWM, same as this. It was just on this plastic table so we can remove parts and check all the components, make sure they work before we install them in the box. Also, we can uh, preset using the lights here. We've got two headlight beams here, and I can adjust it and uh, get the proper amperage. I still need, you know, more lights. But everything here is plug and play, and uh, we can run it and test all the components, make sure everything works. Right now, I can't run it very long because Uh, the um, MOSFET over here doesn't have any cooler on it. I'm still waiting for my Petler cooler to come in so we can run it more than 10 minutes. And then after uh, we get this all set up, then I'll, right now it's just hooked to a 12 volt battery. Uh, later we're going to hook it up to this transformer so we don't need to use a battery anymore. We'll just plug it into 220 and convert it down to 12 volts. But, uh, it works. Doesn't work as good as having it in the box because it used to be able with two lights I would be able to get uh, like 10 amps. Now the most I can get is 8 amps and I'm assuming that's due to the resistance in my wires. Before I was using this as a ground, the box is ground. Now I just have a small ground wire so I'm probably getting more resistance. I haven't had a chance to do a long-term test on it because I'm still waiting for my Petler cooler. But it does work. It has a one-minute timer on it. So it takes like a minute before it comes on, but you can turn it on. Nothing will happen. You'll have to wait. Oh, one minute. Let's see. Uh, actually, 55 seconds, but go ahead and do it. Hmm. I don't know how this is going to work on camera when I turn on the lights come on. This also has bolts on the outside so I can switch it over to use it for a fuel cell. If I want to use it for a fuel cell or switch it to just use it for the lights to test it with the lights. And she could have been on right about now. Click. Hmm. Didn't come on. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, it's on. Now you got your adjustments. You can know uh, your current. Turn it down till. Check it. Make sure the current is working. You can run it for a little while, but the moss will get hot if you. Yeah, see now the current thing's working. Yeah. But. Oh, I'm getting better amperage today. I wonder why. It's almost 9 amps. And if I turn the uh, frequency, adjust the frequency down, I should be able to get more. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there goes up 10 amps. Oh, yeah, about 11 amps is about the max on that. <clears throat> and you can play with it. You can play with your duty cycle and everything. And, you know, check everything, make sure it works. Uh, Cheaper than buying a uh, expensive meter, so that's what I'm using. Hope you enjoyed it.